Down as we're about to begin momentarily. Ladies and gentlemen, may we please request you all to settle down as we're about to begin momentarily. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Sudeen Mathur, as uh, most of you may know by now. I think we've been meeting quite often. I head the Motorola Mobility business here in India. I uh, want to thank all of you here uh, for the launch of the Moto X4. I also want to thank uh, our friends and viewers who are watching us live today on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. What a fantastic year it has been for us. Uh, coming to the end of the year, we have been meeting pretty often during the year as well. But this year has been pretty significant for us as well. Uh, we now complete four successful years of Motorola here in India. But more importantly, we now, Motorola now completes 44 years of mobility. I don't know how many of you know, Motorola was the first company that, that, uh, on which the, the first mobile uh, phone was being made. Or was made. So great year, great journey. We have had many, many milestones. Our brand has evolved over a period of time. We have had strong growth in the country and outside uh, in the rest of the world as well. But let me take you uh, through a small journey that we've had uh, in the past and more recently in this year, the steps that we have taken to not just only build our brand, but how our brand has become one of the most loved brands in this country by our consumers. So here it is. The radio on the moon. The world's first portable cell phone transmission. The Razor. That was us. And in 2016, we reintroduced the world to our brand. Hello, Moto. And returned with a challenge for the industry and the big guys. So we called out the competition with Skip the Sevens. And the world took notice. We're not afraid to be different, bold, and challenge the status quo. And it's paying off. This is only the beginning of what's to come for Motorola. Goodbye, same old smartphone. Hello, Moto. So that's just a small glimpse of our journey so far in this year or in the last two or three years that we have been in the country. Many, many successful steps that we have been taking. But to be a meaningful brand in this country or in any other country, you have to be clear on your strategy and execution of that as well. Um, this is something that some of you are very familiar with. Uh, this is something that we have been talking about during the year. India is a very, very large and a fiercely competitive market. Uh, brands come here, they die, they grow, they lose their position. But to be successful in this country, you need to be very clear in the direction that you're moving. And this is something that we charted out as a strategy for this year and moving forward as well. And our strategy is based on very clear, simple uh, three pillars. The first one, of course, we have been a strong player in the online space. All of you know our, our strength. We, we started, Motorola started uh, in this country uh, by launching its product in online. And in the last four years, we have grown in that online space uh, by strength. This year as well, we've had some tremendous successes. When we launched the, the E4 Plus, some of you are familiar with the C Plus, the Moto G series uh, that we launched in the online space. Uh, all our phones um, in this country with the size of business that we have do more than a million units, which essentially means that um, every year, um, 
There are more than a million consumers who buy either a G series or an E series or most recently the C series as well. Um, in the last four years, I would say there are close to about close to about 35 million odd consumers in this country who are using a Lenovo or a Motorola product, and that's a fairly sizable number of people who are who are there in this country who have bought and shown the confidence in our brand. The second thing that, that uh, we have always talked about is the retail. While India is very large, there is an online consumer and there is a consumer who goes and buy in the retail. But in itself, there are 120 million people who go and buy a mobile phone uh, or a smartphone today uh, in this country. Clearly, we have shown our dominance in the online space. This year, we embarked our journey to give the real experience of Motorola to our consumers who want to go and buy in the retail. And we started with our Moto Hub strategy. Uh, some of you may have visited that as well. These are an open environment place where consumers can come, touch, feel, and have a look at uh, our product and experience them as well. Today, uh, we have close to about, I think, 14 or 15 motor hubs, 14 motor hubs right now as we speak, but by the end of this year, we should have close to about 50 odd motor hub. The other strategy that we have had to grow in our offline space has been to, to start working with some of our, what we call as a motor preferred partner. Today we have close to actually more than a thousand Moto preferred partner. These are in smaller format store, not like the Moto hubs, but you can go to some of those retail outlets and experience what Motorola has to, to offer as well. So that was the second part of our strategy and we are, we are growing very, very rapidly in the offline space as well and not just in for the consumers who buy from the online. The third part of the strategy that we had discussed with you and talked about it as well, while there are consumers in this country who buy because of price or features and functionality, India itself holds a large number of people who want to buy premium products and premium experiences. And that's where we launched uh, this year, or the beginning of this year, the Moto Z series with the mods. And that's when we embarked on our journey of our premium experiences uh, that consumers can have. These are based on the passion points, and I will talk about a little bit more in our subsequent slides. That has been the strategy that we have um, embarked upon. Uh, we have seen a great success in this country as well, step by step as we build our position in this country. Some of you who have um, been to this as well, I think while product is important, it is equally important to give the right experience to the consumers when they visit our service center. And this is something that we are very proud of. This is one of our strategy which is very, very differentiated than many other brands that you see here in this country. While there are these multi-brand stores which, which kind of repair and service uh, all kinds of brands that are there, we embarked on our journey to start our exclusive service center for our Moto and Lenovo consumers. Happy to say that uh, we have now close to about 150 Motorola exclusive service centers in this country, spreading close to about, uh, at, at this point in time, about 120 odd city. Having said that, there are more than 400 service centers across the country which are taking care of the needs of our consumers. The premium experience that I talk about, and this is based on the passion points of our consumers. There are people who buy phones for specs, but more importantly, consumers are becoming more demanding. They're saying, what do I do with this phone? I love music, I love camera, I love, I love to use my, and, and we will talk in our, in our presentation today a little bit more about some of these passion points of our consumers that are there. But I think the Moro Z and the mod strategy was all about uh, working on the experience and the passion points of our consumers. Whether you have a Hasselblad camera for people like you who are uh, good photographers and want to go on a holiday and take pictures, or you're a music enthusiast and you have a JBL uh, uh, mod that you can attach to it, there is a battery mod available as well. For the gaming enthusiast, we, we introduced the gamepad as well very recently. And this is something that really differentiates us, us from, from, from many other people because we are a consumer-centric organization that I've always said. And our products are not just about a product to make calls or specs, but also about uh, giving great experiences to our consumers. And what more? Uh, this year, this is something that, that we all love as Indians, right? This, this is the true passion point of India, the cricket. And we, we took the brand ahead by participating in the IPL that went by recently. Um, and we sponsored the, the Pune team, uh, which reached into, semi uh, into the finals, actually. Um, so which was a great thing. But more importantly, what did we get out of this while cricket being cricket? Uh, and that's one passion that people have. 
uh, with the help of this association, we were able to connect with a large number of, of people in the IPL. They were like people engaging with us on various social media, and especially on Twitter and other, other 76 million people. There were uh, impressions while we were running the campaigns uh, during this 45 days of carnival which we had. Almost we had growth in 11% in our followers who follow really uh, Motorola and it's so I think it is a great event that we have and, and we do plan to continue and engage with our customers uh, in some of these passion points as we take forward into the next journey. And this is what it resulted in. Um, Motorola was rated as one of the, one of the most buzziest brand uh, in the country. Today with the young people that we have in this country, people who are on social network, on Twitter, on Facebook, and various other ways, Instagram, they engage with, with, with and I think the whole realm of advertising and reaching out to the consumer is changing. These are becoming one of the key modes to reach out with the consumers and talk to them and engage with them. And I think that's something that, that we changed uh, or, or we embarked on our strategy in this year. And I think we've got some fairly good uh, feedback, uh, I think on Twitter, or almost uh, six to eight times we were rated the most uh, engaging brand on the, on the Twitter as well. Um, great experiences, we do run contests, in fact on, on the Moto X4 as well, we ran a contest and I think one of the winners is around here uh, as well. We also have one of our fans here in this room is, who's actually one of the most ardent fans who has all the phone, I was chatting with him a while back. So I think the context of this market is changing. While all of us sitting in this room are very interested to talk about what features, what functionality, but I think in Motorola world we talk about how do we engage more with our consumers, what is that they give us feedback and how can we change their, their experiences on their smartphone devices in a truly uh, meaningful way. And having said that, that would not have been achieved without you people. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank each one of you who are here and who are also not here, who have really helped us to reach to the current position that we are in today. Um, I think, you know, there is, there is just no doubt that the India media, the Indian, Indian social engagement, the, the influencers community is far, far, far more engaging than many that are there across the world as well. So thank you so much uh, for all your support that you've given us during the year. Uh, and talking to us, giving us feedback that helps us improve and take it to the next level. And what has that resulted in? The IDC results are out, the last quarter. Uh, we jumped up two notches. We are now uh, back to our number three position. We are in the last quarter that when uh, the IDC result for July, August and September, which was a great quarter for us as well, we are now the number three brand uh, in, this, in this country and having a growth of almost 20% year on year and quarter on quarter almost 40% growth. Now this has resulted, why has that happened? It's because we, while we launched a lot of phones, we launched almost 13 phones this year. Uh, we've been meeting you quite often uh, this year. But like I, like I said earlier, the strategy that we've had, the consumers do really like what we do and we like their feedback as well. But this is a journey, right? This is not the end. So what next? This is our, our portfolio that you are all aware of. These are the various series which mean something today. I mean, you've seen the Z series, you've seen the G series, you've seen the E series, and you've seen the C series as well, which is targeted to very, very different consumer needs in, 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 at different price point as well. Today we are here to launch the Moro X4, which is the, the, which is the next generation or the next series, the X4 that we have today. Some of you who have been around in this industry have, have seen we've had the three generations of Moto X in the past. Um, and Moto X has been designed for, for consumers who are, who are, who are a little more uh, design conscious, style conscious, also at the same time are looking for a technology that is new, innovative and ahead of it uh, as well. So what, what have these consumers uh, told us in the past when we have launched the, the, the earlier series of, of Moto X. Some of the feedback is here, but I think they've had some great experience and, and uh, you will see more about the product and uh, when my colleague Jim comes on the stage later on to talk more about it as well. But Moto X has been designed, actually it says experience perfection and that's what it is to sum it up in one word. We did speak to uh, some of our um, well-known faces in the industry uh, who do write on social network as well. And uh, they had some feedback to give us about the Moto X4. So I'd like to see you, uh, show you what they said about the Moto X4. OK. 
que ni hay... My name is Vijay Singh and I've experienced perfection with the Moto X4. I am Monica Dobra and I experienced perfection with the Moto X4. And I'm Nanika, and we experience perfection with the Moto X4. So this is to sum it up what they actually said. These are the people who are, who are style conscious. These are the people who are tech centric. Uh, these are the people who are really looking towards fashion forward, right? Um, and that's what Moto X4 uh, is all about. But to talk you through about the product, I'd like to invite Jim Thiri on stage. Um, who will come and, and share more about what the product is all about, Jim. And thank you so much. Uh, in case we don't meet again this year, Happy New Year to all of you. Thank, thank you, Sudin. As Sudin said, my name is Jim Thede, and I'm excited to introduce you to the fourth generation Moto X. The new Moto X is a smartphone that's been crafted to perfection, built of glass and metal, it's an ode to the modernist design philosophy. It has seductive 3D glass contours that make it beautiful to look at and comfortable to hold, and elements like a unique watch dial bezel and diamond cut side keys that exemplify its attention to detail. The new Moto X also comes in two very on-trend colors, super black and sterling blue, and there's a reflective film beneath the rear glass that makes it look different and unique every time the viewing angle changes. The Moto X's good looks are also matched by a durable build that's designed to protect it against life's little accidents. And you can see in this tank, this Moto X has been sitting here for probably 15, 20 minutes. It's actually fully IP68 uh, compliant. So let me just dry it off real quick. And I'm not sure whose phone this is, but somebody's mom's calling them, so you better text her to let you know you're a little bit tied up right now. Thank you. Moto X also features Gorilla Glass, Corning Gorilla Glass, on both the front and the back of the phone. And the glass and components are supported by an all-aluminum frame that provides superior strength as well as keeping the design very lightweight. It features a 16 megapixel front camera with a flash and an adaptive low light mode that makes truly awesome selfies capable in any light. You can also have fun with a variety of filters and of course we include other selfie features such as beautification mode so we always look our best in selfies. We've added a panorama feature that's very cool so now you're able to get more in your selfies so you can better share all of your experiences. The new Moto X will also give you professional looking photographs because it has the latest in dual camera technology. A 12 megapixel main camera with dual autofocus pixels for rapid focus technology and an 8 megapixel wide angle camera with a 120 degree field of view so you can get more into all your shots. But rather than me talk about the camera, let's talk about some of the images that were taken with it. This image was taken in a very challenging lighting situation, and you can see it's got vivid colors, it's got tack sharp focus, and it's got great detail in the shadows, all examples of an excellent camera. This picture was taken in the standard mode, and this picture was taken in the wide angle mode. You can see there's much more in the shot. It's perfect for landscapes and getting more people in. The additional benefit of dual cameras is the creative ability that it offers. Because the cameras sense depth, 
They can distinguish between different focal planes and it allows the photographer to apply effects to different elements of the image. Selective focus is one of those effects. Selective focus allows a photographer to blur either the foreground or the background to accentuate one aspect of the image. If you look at the image on the left, the foreground is blurred, focusing your eye on the woman. If you look at the image on the right, the background is blurred, drawing your attention to the flower. Applying selective black and white is another example of the creative options available. You can see in this image, by applying black and white to the background, it really makes the flower stand out. Spot color allows the photographer to keep one color in the picture and turn the rest of the picture black and white. If you look in this example, the photographer chose to keep the yellow of the woman's dress, but she could have easily kept the red from the man's shirt or the blue from his jeans and her vest. Today we have a very special guest with us. We had the opportunity to get some hands-on experience with the new Moto X. I've seen some of her images and they're excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you the celebrated chef, restaurateur, and owner of Ontario's in Goa, and also a contestant on MasterChef Australia, Sarah Todd. Welcome, Sarah. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about your experience with the new Moto X. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you, Jim, for your kind words. Um, I'm really excited to be a part of this announcement. I've actually had the opportunity of playing around with this phone over the last couple of days, and I have to say that I'm not overly a techie, but I was able to figure out this camera straight away, and, you know, I actually... I have worked out a digital SLR and I like to carry this with me to places and I have to say that the power of this camera is fantastic and I'd much rather be carrying this around in my pocket rather than a big SLR. That's great Sarah. Maybe you can just show us or tell us a little about some of the images you took. So I often travel on my own so this feature in particular I think is fantastic. It's the panorama selfie mode so you know when you're traveling on your own and you want to you know you don't want to whip out your selfie stick you're able to capture just so much more of the background in in a shot like this so I was able to capture all the water behind me and still have a crisp image and selfie. This image was actually captured uh, after sunset so as you can see in the background, uh, all the people behind are actually a little bit darker and there's no flash here, but it's actually captured the light on my face beautifully. So Sarah, I think these are some awesome images. Um, this next one is a favorite of mine and I know you love food, so I'm guessing this one's going to be a favorite of yours too. <laughs> Maybe you can tell us about this shot. I'm a massive foodie, obviously, and the thing is, when it comes to capturing food beautifully, you really do need to be quite creative with it, and the thing with this image is that it actually, the aperture is quite low, so you're, all of the background is blurred away, and your eyes are drawn to the cocktail itself, so I think, you know, being able to use a function like this on a small camera is, is really amazing, and it's one of my favorites, actually. So this here, um, every time I land in India, the first thing that I do is order a dozer. So I'm constantly posting images of dozer on my social media and the function here is just picking one color out of the image. So I was able to do something really creative with the phone and just choose the reds. And honestly, I have just been using this camera for a couple of days and I'm blown away with the power of it. It's easy to use, it's, you know, highly functional and, you know, you can create some fantastic images with it. Well, Sarah, thank you for joining us today. I think you have definitely added some color to this section of the presentation. Thank you so much. So the camera suite does more than just take pictures and edit them, though. Beginning with the new Moto X, we're adding more intelligence to all of our cameras. Landmark recognition is an excellent example of this. 
simply point the lens at a landmark and Moto X knows it's a landmark and it provides you information to learn more about it. This building is the Merchandise Mart, a landmark in Chicago and Motorola's US headquarters. Moto X knows it's a landmark and it provides links to Wikipedia so I can get more information on it. The new Moto X is also smart enough to recognize objects. You can point it at an object and it'll tell you what it is. In this case, it's a vegetable, Brussels sprouts. It'll provide links to Wikipedia to get more information or additional links if I'm looking for things like nutritional value or recipes. Moto X can also scan barcodes to shop for an item or it can scan a business card and automatically enter it into your contacts. In this example, it's scanning a barcode on a box of Kleenex and it provides me links to actually make the purchase. I truly love the new camera in Moto X, but I'm equally excited about the audio capabilities that we built into it as well. You can now connect up to four Bluetooth audio devices for synchronized output to immerse every corner of your house or your apartment in music. You can have one speaker in the living room, one in the kitchen, one upstairs, and one on the patio, all playing the same music, synchronized and controlled by your Moto X. And if you're into fitness, you can even have your same playlist going out over multiple headsets so your running partners can run with you for a better workout or you can be in the gym, lift weights to the same songs. We also introduced a number of new Moto experiences this year on the Moto Zs. We introduced features like Show Me that simplify voice commands and Quick Reply which gives consumers the ability to respond to messages from a locked home screen. Moto X supports all of those experience, experiences and we continue to add new Moto experiences to make the device more pleasurable to use. Quick screen capture is one of those experiences. Rather than fumbling with the side keys, essentially all you need to do So quick screen capture is one of those and essentially all you have to do is take your device and put three fingers on the display to actually capture that. Moto Key is another new Moto experience and Moto Key allows us to basically securely sign into websites using just your fingerprint so you don't have to worry about remembering passwords or user IDs. It works on mobile sites as well as traditional websites and devices like your PC so you don't have to enter several keystrokes on your PC just to use your computer. When it comes to performance, the new Moto X excels as well. It boasts a Qualcomm Snapdragon 630 octa-core processor that's clocked at 2.2 gigahertz. It features a 3000 milliamp all-day battery and turbo power charging for hours of power and minutes of charging, 4 gigabytes of RAM, up to 64 gigabytes of storage, and micro SD card memory expandable up to 2 terabytes. Now I know we've told you a lot today, so I want to summarize it, but rather than me do it, I'm going to roll a quick video and then Sudin's going to come on back up on stage to fill you in on pricing and availability. Hello, Moto. Thank you so much, uh, Jim. Uh, 
Thank you so much, Sarah, uh, for being with us here today. Uh, truly uh, experiencing perfection with the Moto X4. Actually, um, in this whole event, one of my most favorite pictures was that black and white dosa, honestly. I mean, I, I loved it. Yeah? And that's my favorite feature on the phone as well. Other than I can actually take this phone you know, into swimming and, and everything else. So a lot of good things on the phone. Um, we have a demo zone behind us later on where you can go and touch, feel, and experience it. Uh, but obviously something that you are all waiting for, what is the price, right? So that's the Moto X4. Uh, it is going to be a Flipkart exclusive and also will be available on the Moto Hubs, like we have said. The phone will be available from midnight tonight. Available in two variants, 332 and 464. 332 available for the consumer at 20 triple nine and 464 at 22 triple nine. Exciting? No claps? Yeah? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I mean, this is in all presentation, this is the most, most awaited slide. Okay, and that's why we keep it the best for the last. All right, and along with that, there are some, some exciting offers as well from our partners in Flipkart. Uh, these are various offers, uh, exchange, so only for, the, these are the, the launch offers. Uh, if the consumers come and exchange uh, their mobile phones, which has now become a trend, when you buy a Moto X4, you will, you will get an additional 2,500 rupees on the norm, normal exchange price. Uh, something very special for the Moto consumers who have, uh, let's say, a Moto G or an X, or an E, they will get uh, 3,000 rupees as an additional um, uh, exchange offer. Of course, only for the day, there is a 10% cashback offer uh, from HDFC Bank, uh, both on credit and in debit cards uh, that consumers can get. Of course, we have some other partners who are there as well, Airtel, which is there offering you uh, uh, 340 gigabytes of data, which is becoming very, very important in today's context. Also, the Flipkart, uh, which is currently uh, running that guaranteed buyback offer um, up to 50%, which is also running along with this. And of course, for people who want to buy on installment, there is an EMI offer as well. So fantastic package for consumers to buy, not just the package or the price alone, but the phone itself. Uh, available exclusively on Flipkart and Moto Hubs starting tonight. 332 at 2999 and 464 at 2299. So that's all we had to share today. Uh, we have our photojournalists here. Some of them would like to take some pictures. I'd like to invite uh, Jim and Sarah back on the stage for the photo opportunity. Thank you so much, uh, friends, for being here with us uh, today. The, the zone is there. You can go and experience the phone. Thank you so much for people who are watching us live at this point in time. Have a great day. Thank you. <laughs>